I in no way want to uh, presume, assume that you don't know anything about black history. Uh, many of you are going to know a whole lot more than me. But I did, a, a couple of years ago, publish uh, Black History Stories uh, for Black History Month that a friend of mine, Barbara Kyles, sent to me. And uh, I know last year we didn't do anything. It's uh, February 19th and we're in the middle of Black History Month. And I came across a new documentary today. Uh, and I've studied black history uh, from the Civil Rights Movement, uh, Jim Crow era, things like that for a couple decades now. And I actually once taught a class at the Cincinnati Police Academy, or assisted with a class, about uh, hate crimes, the hate crimes laws. So the cops, and it was the whole Cincinnati Police Department. Uh, would know what the current state of the laws were. That's been six years ago. So, uh, so I, I do have some background in this. Uh, I came across a new documentary today that I hadn't seen yet, and actually it was published in 2002. Uh, and PBS documentaries is where I have found most of the things I've I've watched uh, over the last couple of years. Uh, so this is a new uh, documentary. Uh, it's not a new one, uh, but it's called uh, Underground Railroad, William Still Story. And I watched this this afternoon. Uh, and the description is Underground Railroad, the William Still Story is a story of a humble Philadelphia clerk who risked his life shepherding runaway slaves to freedom in the tumultuous years leading up to America's Civil War. Uh, Still was the director of a complex of uh, pass along the Underground Railroad. And uh, this is a 55-minute documentary. And especially the, the first parts of it really I think tell a good story highlighting uh, the real tragedy of slavery. Um, and um, still pointed out, I say that he pointed out because this documentary was made because Stills kept immaculate records of everything he did. And uh, so these were in his words. Uh, he talks about the real tragedy and the personal tragedy of slavery, uh, about families being separated, I think was he, what he pointed out about um, the biggest personal tragedy of the whole story, but it talks about slaves being sold and auctioned. He talks about the value of slaves to the slave owner, holder, uh, and what uh, slavery will meant to the economy of the United States at the time uh, and the enormity of that. Uh, the assets of the slaves uh, amounted to much more than the assets of anything else in the country combined. Um, so I just wanted to point you in that direction of this documentary. Uh, and it's a pretty fascinating story about how he documented uh, what he did. Uh, and then the other thing is, I, I watched this quite a while, while back, but it's a 1619 project. And if you remember the 1619 project, uh, was, uh, there was quite a bit of controversy when this came out, and it came out in the New York Times, uh, and then it was made into um, a video series and uh, the video series and the book by Nicole Hannah Jones uh, does a lot of what Stills does but she goes into an awful lot about the economics of slavery 
and how it still impacts lives today uh, and, and what the consequences would be if reparations were made uh, what the what the value of the slave labor would be would be worth, and how much uh, slavery meant to the South as far as their economy. Um, so I want to recommend that too, and I'm going to put the links to both of these stories uh, below in our story, uh, and wanted to make it my short tribute to uh, Black History Month and to Black History and to Blacks in the United States today. And I hope I hope you watch some of it and um, get kind of hooked as I am about Black History and the Jim Crow era, the Civil Rights Movement, uh, and all those people that were so important to the freedoms that all of us enjoy now in this country and the freedom and the promise of that freedom and the promise of that living up to the uh, the promise of our Constitution uh, and what it means today and what it means for our children if we keep striving for that promise.